what's up? My name is Mackenzie Brook. And I'm Reef Harrison. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Behind, Behind the Dream. Dream. Behind the Dream. <laughs> Reef Harrison. Hey y'all, my name is Mackenzie Brook and we go back and forth from Miami to LA. So what we do is we professionally dance, professionally act, and I just got into music and then we also do social media and everything together, obviously. What came first actually in both of our careers was dancing. Yeah, just like we had like a little bit of a gap. So she started dancing before I did and then I gradually laid on to dancing, so yeah. My interest in dancing started with, I was at a heart walk, and I saw this group of dancers performing, and I told my mom, I was like, I wanna do that, I wanna be there. And my mom was like, well, the only way that you could be there is if you walk up to the director right now and ask her to be in your company. And I was super shy and super nervous and super scared, but that's how I started, because my mom just made me take those first couple of steps, and now I'm a very, elaborate and extra and dancer person <laughs> i started i started uh, because i saw her dancing and i wanted to like be in a group but then i also started for other reasons too like there's so many reasons why i started dancing like it's all collided together but also because someone challenged me that i couldn't do this and you know i had to take the challenge because like i like to take that challenge i like to prove someone wrong so like i proved the person wrong and it kind of like gave me that spark of flame to like wow, I actually really like this. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I did that competition. So that's what kind of got me into dancing. Besides my sister, I really look up to, I don't know if you guys have ever watched Step Up, but I really look up to the guy who dances in it. His name's Moose. I also look up to Michael Jackson. I always found their style was like really unique and I and I kind of like was inspired by their dance moves and I kind of like use like their styles into like the way I dance. I particularly don't have a dancer that I follow or I look up to because honestly I see dancers like my brother or other dancers that I see during dance classes or auditions or even like on tour and they kind of just all inspire me to like be where I'm at today. Probably the big biggest thing to like overcome was a couple things because we started going to advanced classes when we were like 10 years old so we would probably always get like other kids that like oh we're going to like adult classes that's like we kind of like overcome that like not let people like bring us down because a lot of boys at the time didn't really dance especially at like my age so like and i had long hair at the time so people would make fun of me and stuff like that but i would just say can you do it and they'd be like no and i'd be like let me show you it's really, it's really actually fun. You don't realize like how much like dancing kind of like just brings you joy. And if it makes you feel good, you should do, do it. One more thing that I did is um going to conventions and actually when boys actually like really really started dancing like when I like maybe turned 11. So I'm not really flexible. Going to conventions and seeing all like the guys like flexible and, like cause most of the choreographers would be like do contemporary dances or lyrical dances and I'd have to like try to like find my own way to do it. It just felt weird because I was like the only kid not doing contemporary in a contemporary class. Like I would I would have the choreography down and everything. It felt different, but I'm glad I did because it felt like you were the only one. Yeah, it all it was weird that I felt like I was the only one doing it, but it was also good that I felt like I was the only one doing it. Cause like you wanna be special, you wanna be do like your own kind of stuff. Luckily I made friends and it was really, really fun. I think the one thing that like definitely helped me is that one of the choreographers pointed me out and we're like, I don't know if anyone notices this guy, but the reason why everyone keeps calling him out is not because he has a choreography down, not because uh, he, he's a guy, it's because he's doing his own thing. All of you guys are doing the exact same thing. For all the freestyle, you guys are doing contemporary. For everything else, it's contemporary. And I know it's a contemporary class, but you guys can do what you want. Freestyle is freestyling for a reason. Do, do what you feel. Don't, you don't have to do contemporary because it's a contemporary class. And that's why everyone keeps calling out this little dude that's 10 years old, that is not flexible at all, but that's the reason why everyone keeps calling us out, because he's different, he's unique. Being different is okay, and you don't need anyone's approval to be yourself. Yeah. Because it's can. all about being you, always be you. Exactly. I know Reef has talked about his challenges in life, but I'm gonna go more into mine. So my challenge was not necessarily like other people hating on me. I have had those challenges in my life, but I think a really big moment in my life was I was in between fifth and sixth grade. I was diagnosed at the age of two with influenza A. And with that, it usually attacks your muscles, but this time it was like way more than just attacking my muscles or anything. I was not able to walk and I remember it like clear as day. I was studying for a test 
and my dad wasn't home, he was on a fishing trip. I had a huge final the next day, I got a bloody nose. I remember that's like a really hard time in my life because I was told after this whole incident I was in a wheelchair for like five months to a year. Um, on and off and I was told I was never gonna be able to dance again. Not even dance again, I was told I was never gonna walk again. And that was really hard because my mom always describes it as taking a butterfly and clipping its wings. It's what they do every single day. And so that's honestly how my life was. And it was a really hard and dark place for me because I wasn't able to do the thing that I've been doing my whole life. It was like what I was born to do almost. But thankfully, I had my mom and my brother and my dad by my side the whole entire time. Physical therapy was definitely hard, especially having to go there at such a young age. And I went to a place where it was mostly only like adults going there. Being the only 12 year old with a bunch of like 30 to 40 to like 60 year olds there and having to do it every single day is definitely like challenging especially when you're having to use the muscles that you used to use before and now you're barely able to move them and you're just honestly only doing like walking exercises or doing it where they just like massage your muscles is definitely a lot harder going back down from like level one so I would definitely say that I'm super thankful for my mom and my brother and my dad so I decided to keep on working and trying my best to like get back to the health and level I was at with dancing. And Reef was able to then get to the same level as me because he started dancing after I did. Maybe just a little bit better. So you guys may or may not know Max, but Max has recently started helping us both on our music, which has been an incredible journey. Honestly, when Max came into our lives, he talked about the whole Dreamer community and Dreamer app, which I honestly think it's an incredible what everyone is doing on there. Everyone's able to achieve their dreams and also post about it and tell everyone how they accomplished it and what they're doing now. Definitely helps inspire other people to keep on going and to also like see like, oh, maybe I could try this or maybe I can try that. So I it definitely- It inspires you more to like follow your dreams and go follow for Follow your dreams, but also if you want to try something new, yeah. then you can. You know, I think it's a very cool app and I think it's a very cool community. So if you haven't downloaded the app, you definitely should download the app. It's an amazing app. You can look at other people's dreams. It like helps you like inspire your dreams too, knowing that like other people have dreams out there that maybe some people haven't conquered yet or like done. And it like kind of like pushes you to do it too. So I, I would definitely recommend to download this app. It's if you really are awesome. a doer, believer, or a creator, you definitely should download it. Even if you're not one of those three, you should definitely still download it too. There definitely is a benefit on sharing your dreams and what you want to accomplish within a community because it inspires other people to do what they love to do. It also inspires them to accept the challenge if they want to go and try what you do for your life and for your hobby. Maybe they want to try it themselves. So I definitely always recommend to share with a group of friends or share it on the Dreamer app. Advice that I would give to anyone that like is afraid to like conquer what they want to do in life. Just go for it. Don't let don't let anyone don't stop give up. you. Yeah, don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep going. Keep fighting. Like fight for your dream. If you really love what you do and, and love what your dream is, then do it. Cause you don't want to live life like with regret. You only get one shot, so you better spend it wisely. What our brand is about is always being you. So definitely that's a piece of advice. I recommend to any person in the entire world is to always be you because you are your own person and no one can be like you and being unique is great it's awesome you're amazing so always be you and don't forget to do that okay don't try to be someone else because you are amazing you are great you're beautiful you're handsome you're talented just be you okay i'm mackenzie brooke and i'm reef and, and you, you just, just watched our behind the dream, dream. <laughs>